Hockey's War Room. And I am here tonight with Nache. Say hello, Nache. Howdy, folks. And we're reviewing, uh, <laughs> or not reviewing, getting a first look <clears throat> at the new Black Seas Master and Commander starter set from Warlord Games uh, in the Black Powder era. Uh, Age of Sail battle game, which is 1770 to 1830. This is the starter set. Nache, what do you think, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a box. Yeah, very good. Very good. It's a box. No, um, actually, the... You know the I, I like the, the the box art. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's I've never done an Age of Sail game, so this is going to be probably the most interesting uh, YouTube experience uh, of my life because I don't know how to do any rigging uh, <laughs> or anything like that. And Dave Hall says I'm actually here watching. Excellent, you're commenting, sir. Hello, hello, David. Hey, he's uh, commenting Live from commenting. Facebook. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We are multi-streaming now from YouTube and Facebook. That's all I'm going to say about that right now. We're going to start doing that. Uh, just to reach you guys on Facebook who aren't necessarily there for um, the, uh, the, YouTube. the YouTubers. So, All right. So if I can, I haven't even broke the cellophane off this. And I lost my, my knife. Oh, where's my knife? I know I left it here. It's okay. I'll improvise, not Jay. So, if you look at the back of the box, um, uh, it has a little description over here on the side. It gives you some examples of the ships, and if it'll focus on it, I have no idea what a frigate is or a brig, so we're going to find out. There they are right there. Look at that. It's, it's the size of ship. Oh, okay. The, the frigates are, are a bit bigger than the brigs. And the contents is uh, seeable. Here, let's do this. And Russell Higgins, you you open it, you own it. <laughs> That's what Russell Higgins says. That's right. And he's watching on YouTube. Yes. Okay. I'll pop that up there. Russell Higgins. All right. So I'm going to open this up now, Jay. You nervous? I, I'm not. I'm what should you be nervous about? <laughs> Uh, so the table contents, if it'll focus, come on, focus. Uh, softback rule book, uh, highly detailed 100, 700 scale plastic ship, which I'm told is kind of bizarre uh, scale. But it is. It, it works. Plastic ship assembly guide, printed uh, acetate, 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 acetate. Line. That's clear. Pl <laughs> that's clear plastic, basically. Oh, okay. Thank you. Appreciate you uh, pointing that out. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Look who's joined us. Mick Murray. Murray. <laughs> How are you now? I'm good. And you? Uh, not too bad. Uh, so, uh, rigging thread, uh, full color sails sheet, full color Royal Navy, French Navy, and privateer private flag, pirate flag, privateer slash pirate, pirate flag. Yahar. A one times AO size double sided battle mat. So it does come with the battle mat. It's pictured there. Cool. Uh, three die cut punch boards, uh, which I'm assuming is for kind of like the the C and these. Well, we'll figure it out. So wake sheets, ship dig, data cards, Black Seas wool, smoke and fire, and game dice, which this is the first time I've ever seen a Warlord game other than um, Beyond the Gates of Antares that has eight D8, D10s, two D6, and one D3 using multiple different kinds of dice. So here we go. Let's let's just check that out. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So the first thing I see is the smoke that they were talking about, the fire and smoke. Let's put this That's cool. Right here. In the bag. I got some, I got some of that red and yellow stuff in my swag bag. Yeah. What'd you say, McMurray? It's the stuff they put out with the uh, like bolt action tanks and shit now. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. I got seven D10s. Not eight. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight D10s. That's... Oh, buddy. Oh, I'm guessing this here is that's, our... That's your... Uh, acetate. Rigging line. No, that's your uh, rigging line. Our rigging line. Yeah. And we'll get to the plastics here in a second. Uh, mm -hmm. Dave, David Hall only got seven D10s. Four day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then we got cards in here. Oh, thank God. Assembly instructions. Thank God. That, uh, you know, you don't they're, need that they're really easy. 
Thank God. <laughs> There's three masts. The tall then, one goes in the middle. The one without the uh, mizzen mast goes in the front. The one with the mizzen mast goes in the back. Done. This is actually pretty nice. Not Jay. The mizzen mast is the mast that's in the back. Oh, stop it. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that is a battle mat, and it is uh, a paper one. That's cool, especially but, if you but, don't have one. Uh, looks like it's pretty uh, pretty heavy. Yeah, and it's, it is. It's about and, one in stock. What's that? About one pin stock. Uh, yeah. And it has little sections. So kind of like, you know, to the strongest. I'm looking yeah. at these little crosses, as you can see. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I don't know what those are for, but we'll find out. Probably oh. has something to do with uh, sections. So you can say, hey, the your, your ships are going to start in section A5. Yeah. That or it was just what they had on hand. Yeah. Like that was the image that was there. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> well, they got some hard card stock tokens measuring 45, 30 degrees. Some move tokens. I probably ought to take the plastic off that. Uh, McMurray's a little late to the party. What's going on? Oh, you know. Oh, Russell what? Higgins says, throw, throw those away. <laughs> well, what's away? What are we throwing away? Probably the maps. Yeah, probably. Oh. Because I've, I've, got I've got a Scarbox battle mat that uh, is all water and stuff like that. So i got a blue sheet. That works, too. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I, have a, I have a photo backdrop that's like 5 by 7 with you know, under 10 bucks on eBay. Super delighted with that. Instructions, he says. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't need yeah, those. Dude, dude, you guys saw how fast I put the frigate together. Yeah. These are, uh, ramble. This is pretty nice. It almost reminds me of board game tokens. They're, uh, they're uh, taking, a, taking a page out of Fantasy Flight games there. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's all their, the same kind of stuff as their Cruel Sea stuff. And an island you can put in any direction. That's neat. I never, I don't have this type of stuff. So, well, now you do. Me, now I do. And of course, the rule book that Russell Russell says throw away. <laughs> no, the instructions on how to build the ship throw it away. Oh, I see. At least that's what I'm thinking. Well, let's take a look at the the rule book. He says instructions, but yeah. So, rule book. I haven't it, even looked at it's it. It's pretty. Advanced rules, so they have basic rules. Lots of scenarios I'm noticing in this. Very nice paper. It's not the shiny stuff. It's more of a matte finish. Kind of a uh, satin, because it seems kind of glossy. Uh, no, actually, it's very matte. I I'm not really seeing any shine. It could be satin. I was about to say, I'm not getting a whole lot. What? Just a, a reflection or anything. Glare yeah. on the but, but it's not... It's not your standard just paper either. So, so it yeah, looks like, like fancy paper. We have, my goodness, 12 scenarios, 13. And oh, there we go. Battles of the Carnide. Car See, I'm going to say it wrong. Carinade. Say it for me. Say it for me. Carinade. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, here's a brief there, guide there, to 12 chips. Your All right. Chip. Yeah. Now, you, page now you know created. what a frigate and a brig is, and it yeah, tells man, you all the different for knowing oh all that stuff. Ramble tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for whoever put this in there. Again, by the ramble tomorrow, you're responsible for knowing all of this. You will be tested. No, yes. no, no. I don't know why this camera is not cooperating tonight. There we go. It just has an overview. Of what's on the ship. And they have the sails. It's a boat. A ship's crew. It's a boat. It's a boat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's uh, got a lot of information in here. The United States of America, national rules. So America. Nat Overfitted. Overfitted. Drill. The U.S. Navy had a few large ships, but tended to reinforce the structure of its frigates and add many guns to them. The overgunned upgrade only cost 80 points instead of 100. 
and the sturdy upgrade only costs 40 points. However, the USA cannot field first, second, or third rate ships. Interesting. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird that they cut it off right there at 1815, 1814 before, you know, Franklin and whatnot were launched. <laughs> hey, save it for the crotch camera tomorrow, okay? That's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can do that. Oh, and they have some uh, special characters too. Excellent. Okay, yeah. I see OHP. So yeah, I was about to ask if Perry yeah. was in there. If Perry oh, went no. in there, I wasn't going to be for it. Oliver Perry. What is that? Stephen Decatur, Lawrence, and then Oliver Perry. Hester Perry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No Bainbridge or Hall? Man, come on, Warlord. Yeah, you know. Maybe they'll, they're saving them for expansions. Yeah. That's right. Hey, is are there British special characters? Uh, let's take a look. Oh, wouldn't you know? There's Spain, France, France, and yeah, Great yeah, Britain. Or go back. It looked like Nelson and... Uh, Pello, Nelson, and Colin, Collingwood. 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 That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. It's cool to have Pello up top. I'm happy they kept him in there. Cochran would be a good one in there. That'd be incredible. This is actually excellent. I'm getting excited for this. So yeah. hopefully, if nothing else, even... Even if, as the Brits would say, even if the rules are pants. Are pants? Yeah. That, that's a term they use. What does that mean? They're terrible? Yeah. That's even, if, even, if, even if the rules are pants, the information that you're getting with. I have no idea. <laughs> with, with, with the Only got famous ships. Famous ships. Um, the information about, you know, what makes up the ship, the different types of ships. This is wonderful. I mean, that, that'd that be... This how is, much is the rule book going for? 40? Uh, I think so. If it's, if you buy it by itself? Dude, that doesn't matter. Like, the whole pack, or the whole starter is what, like 60, 70 bucks? Yeah, it's it's worth it. Because really, oh, the, 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 expansion sets, worth it. the expansion sets that I, I mean, we'll probably have here later are a lot of the same ships. You just make them what you want, you know? Yeah. Uh, from what I've seen. All right. So we have third rates and whatnot. Ship cards. Which that's, cool. that's so like super similar to Cruel Seas. Well, I would imagine. That, from, from a distance when they were fuzzy, I, I, I swear it's like, why do they have Hueys? <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice, really nice card stock. Um if I can get it to focus on it, I will. Um there we go. I'm size assuming they have, small. I don't know what they mean or any of these things yet, but I'm I'm assuming the steering wheel means speed. I don't know. Mm, That's a, no, probably how. Probably yeah. the the ability to turn. I was say what's that frigate hell out there? It might be speed. Fifth fifth rate frigate. Yeah, it might be speed. I feel like I'm cussing when I say that. Frigate. <laughs> Anyway, you have all the sh the uh, the boat cards, ship then cards. Yeah, there's right. ship cards. And yeah, there's uh, no submarines. There's no boats out there. Huh. These look uh, feel almost like a plastic. Yeah, they're the same as the cruel seas yeah. white markers. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Yeah, you're a fifth rate. You're Good old fashioned Rocky unboxing. You're a fifth rate free <laughs> And your fifth rate for it. <laughs> just came through for me. All right. You guys should be getting the comments too, aren't you? Yeah. Because okay. I'm doing a thousand things at once right now. There you go. So those that's what those look like. Yeah, those are the plasticized uh, card yeah. stock. So third rate brig. Oh, they mark them. Now this is the part I'm I'm terrified of. Why? This, don't be a decal. That's not a decal. It's acetate. Oh, you cut it out, you oh, glue it at the bottom, that. you glue it at the top, boom, done. Bob's your uncle. How come they don't use brass? Because brass <laughs> is expensive. Yeah, acetate is cheap. Is ridiculously expensive. Also, it's kind of a pain to work with. Oh, it's a it's a kick in the crotch cam. There you go. Yeah. So better than being a kick in your acetate. Yep. I, I don't understand. I mean, they f it feels like a decal, but it's not. And these are those are those are like your that stuff your mom used to have you make sometimes, or have you eat sometimes? It looks like yogurt, but it's not. Oh god! Ew. 
So what do you, I guess you fold these in a certain way? No, it looks like they're double-sided. So you probably just cut them and. Yeah. Well, no, they punch out. Yeah. Then they just punch out and then you, there you go. Glue them to the masts. Good gravy. That's out of focus. Yeah. Those don't look half bad either. They don't. Foresail, mainsail, mizzen. mizzen. Yeah, it's awesome. It's weird. I wonder, yeah, if, no, those that are, I wonder if those are courses or yeah, that's like gallons and top gallons. You heard it here first, Bob's. Todd's being a Todd. Todd's being Todd. Dad. Okay. Oh, they, they can't be course sales. The courses are all furled on the uh, These are mind. different. These are different color. These are dark. These are probably light. Royal Navy and then French. Probably so. Those are probably Royal Navy. Just to give you a comparison, guys. What's it? What's, what's it say on the edge there? It just says dark and light. Huh. It says uh, uh, Black Seas frigates, brig sails light. Frigates and brigs. Frigates and brigs. Frigates and brigs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like is, frigates and brigs. Is that anything like boots and pants? Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and yeah. <laughs> so let's see the, the plastics. Now the plastics here, and then this one here is uh, Black Sea's Napoleonic frigate. So um, it's actually not, uh, the itinerant oh. hobbyist wants to know what are the sails made of? Uh, plastic coated paper. Yeah, yeah, and that's what they feel like. Yes. Uh, it's it's like a plastic coated paper. Uh, you could probably Oh man, I'll be right back, guys. Um it wouldn't be tough to cut, no. Um, but these are actually pretty sturdy, surprisingly. Um I'd feel better about this the uh sales than I do about the rat lines because these things I have no experience with them in Dude, you, it's all right. We'll, you are, we'll you are making more out of that than it really is. <laughs> now here's the frigate, and looks like uh, you have options. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you got uh, a couple of different uh, rear ends. Um, <laughs> yeah, rear ends. God, <laughs> masts. Uh, so you got several different. Uh, um, you got anchors. Anchors and, and rifles. figureheads and transoms. Yeah, that's a pretty nice looking lifeboat. Yeah. The the rear end is the transom. The transom. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's the frigate. I believe that's all we get in here, is it not? Oh, no, no it isn't. You, get, you should have probably, in three. what, three frigates and three brigs? Yeah, this is a... This is a brig. Now, what's the difference between a brig and a frigate? Well, you'll notice. Don't say frigate that, awesome. No. That you'll notice <laughs> that there's only two holes in the deck on the brig, and there's three mm -hmm. holes on the on the oh, hole. It's the number of masts. Hey, Chris Long. What's going on? Walk about games. What's up? What scale are those ships? They're one seven hundredth. Yeah, which is odd because normally um, you're looking at either one one six hundredth or one twelve hundredth for uh, Napoleonic age of sale type stuff. I mean, there's nice detail in here. Yeah. Now they went with one seven hundred because they want you to buy their models, of course. What in God's name is that? What? On the end here. That's probably the bowsprit. That's the thing that's the the Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Look at all, look at all those guns. <laughs> oh, that's not that many. That's a, that's awesome. So that's the that's the brig, right? Yeah. Brig and frigate. You're right. They have three and two. Yeah, the brig also it, its gun deck is the same as the main deck. Yeah. Whereas on the uh, frigate. You've got uh, the main deck, and then below that is the gun deck. At least one gun deck. And then your bigger ships like the uh, Nelson, uh, the first rate, is going to have, I believe it's three gun decks. I don't see any brass monkeys, Russell has, says. Yeah, I don't know. What's a brass monkey there, Nache? 
Uh, it's a monkey made out of brass. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Just looking at this. Uh, so what, what's, what's the MSRP? What's retail on this thing? Like 70 bucks, 60 bucks. Uh, it's right around there. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I believe it's 70. I believe it is. Let but, me see uh, if I can do this without me. destroying my, my internet here. Check. Hold on. I mean, I could do it too. Oh, for love of Michael. But I mean, there's a Movie. lot of hard card stock. Mm -hmm. um, this is two sided. So you get two different looks, two different C's. 70 US is what uh, our yeah, for 70, And there's what, six frames for ships? Yeah. So it looks like three for the three frigates. And a total of six brigs because it looks like two brigs per frame. Uh oh yeah yeah, you're right. So that's nine plastic models. Um, plus all the plus card the stock, rules, plus all the card stock. And the, I mean, yeah, let's just be honest, seventy it's bucks a, isn't bad. It's just a poster. <laughs> well, you know, but. But it gives you something to play on if you don't have yeah. anything. You know, I mean, I'm not sure what the sectioned off areas are. I'm wondering if that has to do with like scenario setup or or gameplay at all. I mean, I really won't know until I play the game. Yeah. But I think the hardest thing about this is is going to be the 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 rigging because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. But so, so like I said, with the rigging, all you got to do is cut the, cut out that acetate with an exacto glue it on the bottom glue it on the top put it against the the bottom goes against uh the the edge of the hole um yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of looking at and the pointy part goes up into the onto the mast yeah and, and and the the edge of the ship the the, the top edge that's also called a gunnel i see um but i i think that the 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 rigging and the rat lines are going to be fun. It'll be something different, something I've never done before. Yeah. Obviously you want to paint the ship first before you, you, you do something like that. Right. But, I mean, honestly, just, just you looking at this, me, me unboxed and looking at everything. What do you think? Not Jay. I like it. I like it. Um, like I said, even, even if you don't like the rules, you're getting nine, nine ships for 70 bucks. The rules themselves are thirty-two. The book itself is thirty-two bucks. Um, uh, thirty-two is for that amount of information. I mean, there's one thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a, a Warlord fanboy of any kind, but <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, rat rope is what uh, Walkabout Game says. Uh, but the amount of information they have in this book, if for, to me, is worth the money. Um, yeah, uh, if it's accurate, which well, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is, I'm hoping it is, but oh, yeah, it should be. It I mean, should be. Um, and the special characters and the things that you could add to this, it's probably going to follow suit with bolt action as far as the rules go. I have not watched anything, I have not looked up anything, and I've done that on purpose so I can have yeah. a complete, unbiased opinion on this game. And uh, I'm kind of excited to figure it out. Um, okay, so he here's uh, Looking at Warlord's website, you can thirty-two bucks for just the book, and then thirty-two book thirty-two dollars for two thirds of the ships that you have there, uh, because they've got a frigates and brigs flotilla, and it's it's six vessels. It's two frigates and four brigs, which means it's two frames for the frigates and two frames of the brigs. So you're getting an additional uh, frigate and two additional brigs in the box. So 64 bucks uh, gets you the, if you were to buy them separately, 64 bucks gives you the book, gives you the ships. Again, only two thirds of the ships that you're actually getting. Um, yeah. You don't get the dice. You don't get the the posters. You don't mm -hmm. get the the island cards, um, or stuff like that. So I mean, it's just it's just the ships, basically, and their cards and their masts and their right. You know, right. Um, Russell Higgins says I'd much rather hear a biased opinion. 
<laughs> okay. Um, I've never played an age of sale game before. And for me, um, the reason why I have not watched anything or, or anything is so I can have that first time experience uh, with anything age of sale or any ship game at all whatsoever. And I can lay out my opinion and then, you know, which I've been dying to do, uh, go out there and watch what everybody else has said, because honestly, um, I haven't done that yet for anything. And this is brand new. Now, some people out there are going to say, I thought you had a post. Uh, Warlord was gracious enough to uh, uh, send this to me for a review and I'm going to do it and it's going to be fun to watch me screw it all up and then fix it. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, I will give you my biased opinion. I will give you my true 100% opinion on the gameplay and how it plays. I've played thousands of different games um, and that will come later. Uh, we're going to do a rules review. Uh, I think we might do that live too. I don't know. Um, but for the most part, for me, this looks awesome and I I'm, I'm excited for it. Uh, most games I play, I am, but I'm really excited for this because I've never done it before. It's something new. So if I absolutely hate it, I'll tell everybody. I mean, yeah, if I, if I don't like ship games, no problem. You know, I mean, but this here, uh, it looks like something that's going to be easy to pick up and play. So, um, just I have I have not opened up the rule book or anything that much, but it does look like it's pretty. I'm I'm already looking at things on the card, going, oh, this is probably that. This is probably that. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, McMurray, you still with us, buddy? No, he had to it. leave. I think. Oh, um, just kind of now um, looking at some of the other ships that they have on offer. Um, they do have the USS Constitution, uh, the HMS Victory. And the Lorient, Lorient, which is a French ship, those are thirty-eight dollars each. Probably because they're special character ships, right? Well, they're also metal and resin. Oh, I see. I hear yeah. there'll be a campaign play, basic rules. Probably so. Yeah. Probably. I saw something in that book. Um, yeah. I, I know that. Uh, you know, uh, he mentions a campaign with black powder. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and that'd and be fun. The, That'd be, that'd be a riot. That'd be a day's worth of stuff to do, but you know, um, that'd be fun. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, overall you get a lot, Yeah, you get a lot for your money. You do. And I was worried about it when I first looked at it and I'm like, oh, you're only going to get, you know, so many models. <laughs> well, what else is in there? <laughs> the models are expensive. What's that? Ship models are expensive, man. Yeah. yeah are. I mean, it, it seems that way. McMurray, what do you think of this, man? Um, well, I mean, you guys saw my, uh, you guys watched me build one of the frigates. Um, I didn't watch you. I heard you did it. I did it live on the ramble. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Go ahead. <laughs> um, you're killing me, Smalls. Um, honestly, the, the models went together really, really easily, really simply, um, which was pretty delightful. Uh, or at least the frame yeah, did. That's usually a good still, thing. Yeah, I and, and well, not only that, they went together really well, but they also looked real good when I got done with it. And I wasn't, I'm not one of the people that you know make sure everything is trimmed just flush and I pull all the, or I scrape off all the mold lines and all that stuff. Facebook user, another boat game. <laughs> yeah, man, boats are awesome. Facebook user, yeah. That my um, ass off, man. What'd I do? <laughs> uh, but, uh, but no, so, I mean, I was really pleased with the models. At least the, the one complaint I had was the, 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 the way the yard, the Corsairs are furled. It's a little weird. Oh, you picky little man. Exactly. That's my point. Like if that's my biggest complaint on the models, that's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I was looking at the Briggs um, in War Games Illustrated, and they aren't as customizable in terms of uh, interchangeable figureheads and sterns as like the the frigates are, because there you've got three different figureheads, three different sterns. You know, go ham. 
even so, they look delightful. They're kind of odd. They look really almost American, like Great Lakes mm-hmm. uh, era in terms of, yeah. I think they're what, 18 gun frigates or um, brigs. And the guns are just lined up, you know, before uh, the hull even reaches parallel all the way through the, the stern. Um, I gotta I got say, it, it, it sounds really exciting to just be able to shoot cannons off of a boat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is. <laughs> I've never played a game when it's like that. Oh, man, are you missing out? <laughs> wait, um, wait, wait until they become uh, uh, made out of uh, steel and, and have turrets and, and those guns are 16-inch guns. Oh, shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I tell you what, Najee. Uh, McMurray, uh, we'll, we'll wrap this up real quick because we're going on 30 minutes talking about a boat game for crying out loud. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dude, welcome. I'll life. have you guys over. We'll do a live, uh, either a live play or we'll record uh, our first play uh, of this game. Uh, obviously, they'll, they won't be painted that quickly, but um, we'll at least show you guys our first play of this game and give you our thoughts on this. Uh, Black Seas, Age of Sail battle game, uh, 1770 to 1830 which is interesting um i'm excited and uh it'll be fun so uh if you guys got anything else about it no No. i'm 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 excited what's that mcguire i said i'm excited to get my hands on my copy i have that starter set coming and then the british bundle so it should be quite interesting here we go a boat Lifeboat will fit on the ship. <laughs> yeah, I think most of them come with three ship's boats, if not four, or at least the frigates do. Yeah, I've seen yeah. them on the screw. Um, so cool. I've got three on the blocks on the deck of the frigate that I built. Right on. All right, folks. Well, thanks yeah. for joining us. I really appreciate it. Master and Commander, Black Seas. Uh, uh, first look at the Master and Commander set. Uh, I'm going to put these together possibly tomorrow. I still got some stuff I got to paint. And uh, we'll take a look at the game later. Um, expect something in the future. Uh, I don't know how soon of uh, our first playthrough and uh, some videos of me putting these things together and just, you know, wrecking them. <laughs> to where I got another buy another set, uh, nine ships just to, you know, fix them up. But anyway, that's all we got, guys. Really appreciate you sticking with us. Uh, Notch A from uh, McMurray. This is Matt. Uh, last but not least, from me to you. Ta-ta. See you guys.